I wanted the poem to reimagine Wilsdon Junction Station. Legend. Legend has it, if you jump two feet onto a train at Wilsdon Junction Station, all will be revealed. You will dissolve through the floor where ancient foxes dance to reggae samba while drinking Guinness from goblets made of scrap metal. Metal only found at the bottom of the canal, so deep down that the water is blue and pockets of air allow birds to birth new songs from melodies of future migration. Fable whispers, you will never be the same. After climbing the stairs to nowhere, adorned in spiked skirts, returned by pirate ship and parachute, run down the belly of the wind above fluorescent graffiti arcs and angles, you land somewhere between your deepest fear and your lightest joy. Kneel on platform five as these memories depart like mythical dreams, one westbound, one north. This poem is about the hustle and bustle of everyday commuters in a hurry to get to the station. The activity, the many, many feet moving in and out of this station. How many feet? My feet are held back on the track-like turf of a 266. This bus my starting block as the doors swish open. I'm up and out without whistle or bell, racing to the Wilsdon Junction Station. So many steps dancing and twirling, with more feet falling to the tune of a gritty walkway, leading to regions of transition, zones of convergence. I swipe the oyster to open and close a world of barriers in a landscape of transit, always in a hurry to reach before the quarter. If I miss this, the next arrives 15 minutes on, bringing me to a place of late wherever I need to be. So many people, like waters meeting, on a tide of tubes opening and closing. Commuters, dozy wasps, once vocal, confused in the stiff spring air, one, two, three, are losing their way as options branch before them. The salt white platform is ground under walkers' heels, a song of London feet that in a lifetime have paced an age without end. The scuff marks on my shoes whisper, five and a half miles of interchange. Every hour, a winter for the lonely drifting souls who travel the line to do a day's work in an on-the-go city that never dreams, can never sleep. This is an eco-poem for the Wilsdon Junction poets and it's called Changeling. Down the jailed path, down the passage by the train tracks, drizzle the buzz of power lines, the lone red lights of cranes and the blue lights that helmet street lamps and the white searchlights on the stripped horizon. Down the purgatorial path, weeds twitch, a dumped corona can. Cover your head with a cap, a black cat slinks by the tracks. Snub-nosed and pointed ears, cover your head with a cap, or they'll shear off your curly locks and file down your, under the white searchlights, capped with garland, a crown of leaves and berries. Spring concrete steps, a hunched commuter looks up. Unshod, you caper on the platform, the chill glint of horns. Hi, my name's Sue Saunders, and I want to read you my poem, Closely Observed Pigeons. I'm 
trying to lure some pigeons so that you can closely observe them, like closely observe trains, that's the reference. But they're not coming. Trains are coming, but no pigeons. So I'll just read it. The pigeons of Wilsdon Junction Station fill me with a strange elation. Like that now dishonored man, I can't fly, but believe I can. As with the ravens at the tower, were they to leave, we'd rue the hour, or the great good luck of Northwest Ten might never more return again. Wembley would crumble, the Welsh harp flood, and Kensal Green run red with blood. Praise be unto these peaceful pigeons who rub along without religions. It seems to me they coexist practically purely communist. So what makes them flock and anoint with unction this particular railway junction? Is it the crumbs from old Pacinos? The answer is that nobody knows. Boarding the great 220 bus, I'm simply glad that they chose us. Should anybody wonder why, you could say I identify. They symbolize what I would be. Not very rich, but really free. I'd like to bring a sense of mystery to an unlikely place, Wilsdon Junction Station. My poem is called The Building on Stilts. With your knobbly steel joints, you are an alien up in the air, above the red bricks transformer building, below the derelict arts and craft wonder, near the Harrow Road exit. You lurch forward, past Nicola begging and lost in a book, along the wire walkway from hell, past piles of gritty ballast, loomy grey towers nearby. Stop, stupefied by the wild cherry trees, that creamy ethereal blossom, you breathe in their prunus perfume, a bounty from the railway gods. Your cladded upper body, is where water was once stored before becoming steam. Platform 4 feels particularly close to me as I use this uh, platform to take the train towards my university. Um, platform 4, beautifully the platform welcomes every soul. It includes the one chasing tomorrow and the one who doesn't know how to handle his morning. It includes the one who knows his path and the one whose home location is not yet known. It includes the one who appreciates the very little and the one who is seeking to gain for more. The truth resides in one particular place, the place that has contributed to my educational journey. Spending time on Platform 4, departing to my seminars and lectures was strengthening and has made me search for more. When I had time, I would walk beside the Grand Union Canal. I would walk for peace and inspiration and at the end, find surprises beyond expectations. Some shades, swans, small boats, rain and sun, all make up the station. Hi, I'm reading this poem by Nick Moss, who is an absent friend who can't be here today, and it's called Stop. Don't matter if it's the love train, the Zion train, a downbound train, a lonesome train, or the last train to Scarville, somebody still had to lay these rails, somebody still has to walk these lines and fix these tracks. Men and women from Spanish town, Coleraine and Krakow, checking points, clearing rainfall dross and trackside scree. In orange high viz, watchful teams shadow the steps of those from Malahide, Gateshead and Mobay, who dug out cuttings, laid down ballast, gave sweat and skin and working years, hauled sleepers and slabs to carry the weight of our dreams of speed, of escape and carved out the juncture between our here's and theirs, 
our goodbyes and new beginnings. Grafting, digging, welding, from Freightliner Yards through to Euston Q and Stratford, guards, ticket sellers, engineers, platform staff and signalers, all guarantors of momentum and of safety over profit, whose work that can keep the wheels on the tracks can also make them stop.